Salivary gland carcinomas are very rare malignancies. Um, the other thing about them is they're biologically diverse in terms of their behavior. And there are 24 different subtypes in the WHO classification. Um, the challenge in using chemotherapy in this population is that there are not a tremendous amount of prospective clinical trials that really define what the role of chemotherapy is in this disease. Unlike obviously more common cancers like breast cancer or lung cancer, or even mucosal head and neck cancers. Um, so, you know, despite that, there's been limited uh, published data suggesting that there are activities, uh, there are activity, um, there are agents with activity in this disease, primarily the platinum agents and perhaps platinum um, combinations. But probably the more interesting aspect of the emerging role of the medical oncologist in salivary gland cancers is the fact that rapid advancements in genomic profiling and really the, um, the increased um, availability of these next generation sequencing technology, the rapid turnaround, the relatively more reasonable cost, has led to us um, being able to identify subsets of, this, of, of salivary gland cancers that may have activating um, mutations that are potential therapeutic targets. And so um, <clears throat> there are a lot of um, uh, efforts right now looking at these site agnostic um, mutation driven studies um, that hold some promise for patients with this disease and there is also a um, you know a, a, a efforts looking at these uh, immune checkpoint inhibitors that may have activity